Welcome to Pooptopia. So today is my favorite day. Hi, buddy. Oh, oh, Cho. <laughs> Can you come halt him, Jess? <laughs> no, he's okay. We got to improvise. We have run out of Hyper Adobe bags, mm -hmm. and we've decided we're not laying anymore. Nope. We're done with bags. We are going to do something crazy. You ready? Hey, do you want to move this in the sun? Yes. So it's, it's warm? It's freezing cold over here. Guys, can you help us move can stuff? Grab a... Why is there spiders? There should not be spiders in there. So not only are we using the wood from our old deck that used to be where the airstream was all the way down there, but we're also reusing all the screws from the deck because we kept them. <laughs> See, it's a recycled, it's a composted building. Recycled. It's a recycled composted building. solid where it is. Tunnel. Paper 
drink for it. Yeah. Take yeah. a risk like it's a short thing. Yeah. Going in, yeah, I'm going all in. Yeah. Getting fooled out, yeah, you can bring your friends. Dive right in, let's go. Let's go. Move forward and be in the toe. Let the rhythm take control. It's going down, going down tonight, yeah. Dive right in, let's go. Let's go. Move forward and be in the toe. Let's go. Let the rhythm take control. It's going down, going down tonight. I think the hardest thing for me with building is um, coming to terms with things that aren't going to be, not everything's going to line up perfectly, especially with earth bags. And that's really hard for me because I feel like everything should be perfect. But um, once we get this whole section here complete, because this will all be cob and bottle, you won't even know that you know, this distance and this distance are different from those distances. The reason that they're here is over there, I didn't account for where the straps are gonna come up over things. So on the other side, it's like straps are like this, which will interfere with my bottle bricks. I wanted to put as many bottles in here as possible. So on this side, I decided to put the vertical supports right in line with the straps. So it's gonna look a little wonky. My dad's probably gonna yell at me because it's not 16 inches on center, but it is strong enough to hold up our roof and that's all that matters. Right, babe? Right, babe. <laughs> What are you doing? I am interviewing Jet. And then you. <laughs> that's terrible. This is an interview okay. about you. <laughs> what is your middle name? Mason. What is your favorite color most of the time? Most of the time it's like a dark green. What is <laughs> your favorite type of shirt? <laughs> shirt? I... A dark green shirt I have. <laughs> what is your dream job? I don't have a dream job. In the future. <laughs> um, <laughs> is cereal soup? Now that you say it, sure, it sounds like it's a soup. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, milk or cereal first? Cereal. Hmm, I guess you're smart. <laughs> when you're old, <laughs> what kind of socks would you like to wear to bed? What wear. kind of a question is that? <laughs> I'm going to wear no socks, probably. No, will you wear the white socks with the red stripes? Or the blue socks, Fruit of the Loom? <laughs> Jet, what is your favorite type of grass? Yeah. Green grass, yellow grass, or no grass? Um, green grass. Okay. <laughs> Are you a cat or a dog person? Waterfly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're at the point where we need to figure out the pitch of the roof and whether or not we're going to build a frame on the back. Mm. We just measured and we're at seven foot one inch on the front 
and we're at five and a half feet on the back. So you can kind of see here, we just put a board up and we still have to add an actual beam that goes all the way across. But it'll be the same on the front and back. The beams will be the same. So this is the pitch that we're looking at, which we like. I think it'll be good. It doesn't have to be anything exact. Nope making it up as we go. So that's how we roll, Ben. Yeah, we thought we might have to build another one of these frames on the back to get it at a shallower pitch, but I kind of like the way it is. So, But are you fine with the in? Well, by the time we add the beam, that's another five and a half inches. So it'll be about six foot at the back, All right. but we're never going to be standing on the very back wall. Just sitting. So it should be good. Just doing our business. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, let's, so, um, so what does that mean? What so are we doing So the next now? step is we're going to build our beams. And we're going to build that out of the old decking too. And we're going to cleat everything together, like secure it to the bags. Recycle. <laughs> We have now entered the phase of the build where Jonathan and I will either get stay married or choose to go our separate ways. <laughs> We're always going to stay together, but anyway, this is the part. <laughs> this is the part of the build where um, we tend to argue. So we're just going to take a minute and we're going to say something that we love about each other before we get started. I love, babe, <laughs> babe. I love that. You are oh, always <laughs> coming up with something. I'm trying to pick which one. <laughs> I love that you are always up for our, my crazy ideas and that you're always there to support me. Aww. Oh no, now I gotta come up with something. <laughs> I love that you have crazy ideas and you get me out of my comfort zone. Hey. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart has gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning. Cause something's gonna change my mind I don't wanna change my mind Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life oh, Come on, turn your hate into poetry Pain into power And I meet some friends And your minutes into hours I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life For the good life best friend an apologetic text he says to come over who well, the whole town has been waiting for the day when you would come back here there was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill and i think that i will be all right and my ex from high school still looks just the same as she did back in 2009 i couldn't wait till the morning let's never put the night on night 
the night on ice Oh, I wanna sit right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year We are happy to report that we are still married and we still like each other. I do still like you. Don't kiss my camera. Okay, so <laughs> so the back beam is up and cleated in place. What is that what feeling? What are you doing to me? Stop. Okay, the back beam is up and cleated in place. We still need to screw from the top plate into this front beam mm -hmm. all the way down because right now there's just two screws on each end. And then we're going to put our hurricane straps over and cinch them down and talk more about that when we get to that point. Does that sound good? Perfect. Did I talk too much? Nope. Did you want to say I'm something? Perfect in every way. Our beams are up and in place, which means the last thing to do is add our hurricane straps. This is just, we live in an area that is like crazy wind. So every time we build a roof, we just add hurricane straps because it's an earthbag structure. It's not traditional. This is just added insurance so our roof will not blow away. <laughs> also, it'll all be covered up by the cob and bottle work that we're gonna do. So what we do is we just throw it over so Ideally, you want to be five bags down, but we were going to be five bags down, but then we ran out of bags. So it's fine. It's still going over the beam and holding it down. So let me show you how this works. When you buy this webbing from on Amazon, um, there's all different kind of strengths and ratings. We went with the highest we could afford, and um, it's plenty, like... I can't remember. Do you remember what the rating was? No, I don't remember. We we'll, can link it. We'll link there. it here. Um, and then you add these buckles, and you kind of have to do a little dance with them to get them in right. And there's there are videos online about how to hook these in. But basically, you're going to loop it like this, put it through the middle of the buckle, and then the loop goes in this, and the same on the bottom. It's just real hard to explain. I'm not going to be the tutorial, but look it up if you want to do it. Okay, so then this goes here. And you want to start low on this because as you're cranking it and tightening it, this is going to want to travel up and you don't want it cut off too close to the top of your buckle. So this goes here. It goes in this middle and in the top. This top one will cut our string when we're done. So once it's in there, you're just ready to start cranking it. You wanna make sure that it's not gonna slip off the buckle because sometimes it will try to, try to do that. And what I'm looking for is a high pitch sound. Um, you can also watch the bag. You don't wanna like pull it so tight that the bag moves Ours are not stabilized with cement, so I'm going to be extra careful, but this is plenty tight, like if you hear it. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off and try to get this out. And then we'll burn the ends and cut this strap, burn both ends, and then we're good. So, I just got to do that side and the back wall, and then we're good.
you believe that we got so much done today? I know, and we're still married. Yeah, and we didn't even really fight. We I mean, get... we had a little bit, a little bit. That's not... It's just not much. That's everything's okay. Yeah, everything's great. Yeah. So, uh, beams are up, straps are on, which means the next step is rafters. Yep. And again, we're just going to use all that old decking material that we've already got sitting over there mm -hmm. under the solar panels. Mm -hmm. So, and it's already Shishugi bond. Yeah. It's ready to go. So yep. we just got to notch it, mm -hmm. stick it up there. Call good. Now, we also need to decide how much of an overhang we want. Yeah, we are going to end up sistering them together because we want to have enough overhang here um, to protect the buttresses a little bit better. Yeah. Now, do we need to? Not technically. This building is going to be stuccoed. Yeah, and almost all the weather comes like that this way. way. So <clears throat> I don't, and the roof is pointing up. So mm -hmm. like, I don't think they'll get a lot of weather on them ever. Yeah, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of trees here in front. So yeah. it's kind of like we planned it this it's way. Kind of, but <laughs> we're going to look into seeing if we're going to extend it mm -hmm. out a little bit further, just to protect this wall and even the back wall too. And to give us more roof space to catch water. Mm, that too. Yeah. More water catchment is always better. Yep. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you for hanging out with us here in the Tiny Shiny Homestead. We hope that you have a great day as best. What? I was going to say something weird. Did I say something weird already? Not yet. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, See, I missed my whole glasses thing. Okay. Sorry. Did you want me to say? What? I don't know what we're doing. All right, that's it for today. Thanks. See ya. Uh, we'll see you. Bye. The next time. Sometime. We make a video. Another day. Goodbye. Great. I see right through when you're blowing that smoke. Make me feel high, but you're stunting my growth. Telling me to hang my head on some new problem.